Hello, happy last week of school. I can't even believe that it's finally here. It has been crazy, I did not record last week, but I am going to give you a brief overview of this week, not lesson plans involved, just some of the end of the year things that we're doing for the kiddos, and then we are also rearranging the classroom. So let me show you. We are going to be sending home Publix bags that I still need to go get, by the way. Um, that's a grocery store, so big brown bags. We're gonna be sending those home on Thursday with a bunch of goodies. So I'm gonna show you some of those goodies that we've been putting together. And then I will show you what we're thinking to do in the classroom for setting up for next year. Okay, so the first thing is, as we are wrapping the individual books, and then we're going to be putting them together like this with some ribbon around it. This book inside is their poetry book, so we just wrote their name on it. This is the ABC book that I will show you in a minute, somebody else's, but this is Casey's already wrapped up. And then this is their recipe book that we did all year. So we saved all those, we just wrapped them up, we're gonna put some ribbon around them and then put it in the, in the box. This is a t-shirt we actually asked for, here we go, we asked for two white t-shirts because we normally go on field trips. However, this year we were not able to go on a field trip, so we used one of them for our Halloween costume, and then we used the second one just to do the handprint colors that they chose, their name, and then pre-K on the back. And then we wrapped them up, put ribbon around it, and added their little name, so that will go on top or in the bag as well. All right, and then finally, the ABC book. These are the alphabet crafts we've been doing year round, and we saved them all and then laminated them all, so quite a bit of lamination, but we had some donations there too. So we have alligator, bumblebee, cars, jog, elmo, fox, gumball, hearts, igloo, jellyfish, king, lion, the sideways monkey, <laughs> newspaper, orange, pirate, queen, rain, snake, tree, underwater, volcano, watermelon, xylophone, yak, ah, and zebra. The end. So very, very cute. We didn't, we sent home the lowercase crafts, but we decided to keep all the uppercase ones. It was quite a bit of work, uh, kids who missed out on certain days and we had a list and we pulled them back and redid certain ones, but I feel like this is such a great keepsake for the parents for preschool. And another thing that we put together is, by we, I mean my para, so talented. This says, congratulations graduates, and we just added their names on little hats with tape and then an apple in the school year, and then we dress them up in a cap and gown and put them inside of this hole, and we printed those pictures. I have to pick them up tomorrow, and then we're just gonna frame them with like popsicle sticks as like a little, a little memory. Okay, so that is quite a bit of stuff that we are sending out, but in addition to all of that, we are also having our end of the year party on Thursday, and we're doing graduation themes, so like the cupcakes are gonna be graduation theme. That's pretty much as far as the graduation theme goes. We got a few decorations from parents and some of the photo props. So we're going to set up a little photo area. And then we got all the kids bubble wands for the summer because that's what they love, bubbles, you know. And then we also, or I, put together a slideshow last night of all of their pictures from the school year. I use an app called Home Homeroom. Yeah, Homeroom app. And the parents join it and it's just basically like a a feed of pictures so I upload pictures and then they can just scroll through the pictures throughout the year so I downloaded all of those I think there were like 300 pictures it was insane and I added them into iMovie and shortened the pictures down to like two seconds added in some fading cues here and there and put songs to it and I sent the link out to parents last night and today in class we're gonna watch it with the kids it's like 12 minutes long so that's another keepsake that we're doing and then finally we did an end of the year performance normally without COVID we would be doing an end of the year performance where parents get to come to school but unfortunately due to the pandemic we are not able to do that 
So instead, we practiced some songs in class and we went on the stage this morning and decorated it with some balloons and a congrats sign and we sang three songs. The first one was um, to the song of like Dynamite. Um, I throw my hands up in the air, some, that one. And, but it says, I wanna graduate, or no, I wanna celebrate and graduate. So it's like a remix of it, it's really cute. It's a very long song, but we only did two of the verses. And then the other song is, the last song we did was, we're moving up, clap, clap, to kindergarten. I can add all these links down below so you guys can actually find them because my singing is not great. And then the other one is, ready to go, something like that. I have no idea. They're really cute, we practiced them forever. It's weird that I can't think of the words, but we went on the stage, we sang them with our little hearts out and had to be very quiet, couldn't redirect, but it was still adorable. And I'm going to put that together in a video as well for the parents since they couldn't come and see it. So it's been a different year, but we're still throwing things together to get those memories in and hopefully the parents enjoy it. I will come back on after we get those printed pictures. I can show you Casey's with the frame and we get our bags together and we put their names on it so you can see how it all is wrapped up. And then I'll also show you what our room looks like because right now it's still the same as it's been for the past couple of weeks and we're going to be moving the rug and all those types of things just to see how we want it set up for next year. Um, this summer I will be working summer VPK and it's a program that my district does over the summer for kids who didn't use their VPK certificate in Florida before going to kindergarten. And it's actually going to be in my classroom so I don't have to pack up my classroom like I did last year because we'll be using it. After summer VPK is over, I'll have to pack up a couple of things here and there to be ready for the floors to be waxed and cleaned classroom for next year. So we just wanna set up the furniture to see how we like it. But I'll see you later. Hello, it is Wednesday so we only have one and a half days left. We are pretty much ready to go. We don't have very much left. We have a couple more pages left to do in our memory book. And I wanted to show you all the cute things that we put together and how we're gonna send it all home. And then we have our end of the year party to show you. And we switched up the classroom. So I wanna show you that real quick too. Let's go. All right, so first of all, let me show you some of the things that we switched. Don't know if everything's staying. Clearly nothing looks as perfect as it's gonna be, but you know, we're just moving furniture like this. This is a hot mess because we're packing up. <laughs> but we moved the writing art center over here, computers against there. I hate that these are not the same size, but I'm gonna work on that. Um, the rolly cart that was in the closet is out here. Don't really love the colors of it, so still working on that. We took down all of our bulletin board for now, still revisiting how we want that to look. I moved my table here and put like a little work area back there where I can pull resources. Love it. This is for our party. We just have a little photo booth and then we have these little pictures over here that a parent donated. They're gonna hold for their little pictures. Um, we don't really have to take any of this stuff down so that's good. We hung up a banner for tomorrow, just a little decoration. And as you can see, let me back up a little bit. As you can see, I moved the rug under the whiteboard. So that is my plan for next year. The tables are still set up doubled like this. Um, that's not the way they'll be next year, but for now, that is how we're doing it. We're probably gonna have four of them going this way, or if that doesn't fit, maybe three of them going this way. Okay, from this angle, we put the noisy centers here. We have kitchen over there. Books are against where the library or where the rug is. Kitchen, we have two shelves to put things on for kitchen. We moved our table toys here, train table here. This part we're still trying to figure out because we have blocks, so we're not sure about where they're gonna actually build with the blocks, but we're still thinking that one through. We moved the cubbies here, and then we moved the cubbies around the corner. I can show you in a minute. This is where the dollhouse is set up, but we're gonna need those cubbies, so we're gonna still work on that. Also, calm down chair. When we move this out of the way, this will be a bigger area to have our calm down spot. And then this is what we are going to be taking home. We have the books that I was showing you that were wrapped up, and then the shirt that's wrapped up, and the little picture, so cute. And all of that is going to be put into a big grocery bag. We just put their name on it and a little sunshine. 
and they're gonna take that home tomorrow. Okay, so that's it. I know it was kind of quick. Um, it's the end of the year, so we're all excited. We're all ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to making more videos over the summer. We'll have some more family things, maybe some teaching things to get prepare for the school year next year, and obviously a setting up series. And as always, don't forget to click like, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.